A defamation trial against the Invercargill Mayor Tim Shadbolt has been told he used a series of newspaper columns to damage a political opponent. Invercargill Councillor Karen Arnold is suing Mr Shadbolt and the media company Fairfax New Zealand, now known as Stuff, of course, in the first defamation jury trial in Southland for almost a century. Our Otago Southland reporter Ian Telfer has been at the High Court in Invercargill. After three years of legal argy-bargy without settlement, Tim Shadbolt's defamation case began in court today. Karen Arnold's lawyer, Peter McKnight, told the 12-person jury the case is about the damaging of one woman's reputation. We only have but one reputation. Once it is lost, it is extremely difficult to regain. In short, the Mayor with the assistance of the Southland Times, have allowed the reputation of Karen Arnold to be attacked in various ways. It didn't take long for the first day of arguments to get personal. During debates at the Council between October 2014 and April 2015 about its holding company Holdco borrowing more than $100 million more and investing in a kakapo chick-rearing facility, things had got nasty. Mr McKnight said Mr Shadbolt then used his columns in the Southland Times to slur Ms Arnold. As indicated, it was the column on 4 April 2015 that was and is so central to this case. The suggestion that Ms Arnold was unprofessional and was a leaker of confidential documents. Karen Arnold herself then took the stand for the afternoon. She went through her personal history, especially her roles as a Southland Times reporter covering the council, a Department of Conservation Kakapo Ranger and then City Councillor. She said some councillors resented her joining the council and questioned her integrity. And she didn't pull any punches in her description of the mayor and the newspaper. It's undeniable that these articles published by the Southland Times over many years show that Mr Shabold was known to be jealous vindictive, petty and a fibber. In its own words, the Southland Times referred to as growing memory lapses, imperfect memory of events and flawed memories. Which is why its treatment of me since October the 25th, 2014 is disgusting as it is darn well personal. Neither Tim Shadbolt nor Fairfax have yet put their defences, though it's been signalled they'll say that the meanings Karen Arnold took from the columns were not what he intended, and that in any case what Tim Shadbolt wrote was his honest opinion. The jury will have to decide if Invercargill's political warrior and entertainer crossed the line, and if so, what it should cost him. The trial's expected to run for at least two weeks. In Invercargill, for Checkpoint, Ian Telfer.